What can we expect from Cyrus in the upcoming episode? Give us a little hint. Uh, something fun. Shonda wrote this fever dream of a Cyrus-centric, I want to see some of the past, and I want to see some of what makes, how did Cyrus become Cyrus? She takes us to about four different time periods of the character's life. Dan Bukatinsky comes back. Things get a little uh, B613-y again. It's been a while, but uh, without giving too much detail, I can tell you that uh, that whole world, that dark world, will be sort of uh, brought to the forefront again. And David will be right in the thick of it. Quinn is, as you've seen, is kicking ass and taking names. She's going to continue to do so. That's what I can tell you. She's going to continue to kick ass and take names. Well, you're, you're certainly going to see him yeah. trying to win back his family and sort of uh, you know, the B613 files are sort of out there and I think he's really nervous and, and uh, freaking out about what's going to come of that and is he going to get in completely major trouble and end up in, you know, in jail forever and, but yeah, Huck, you know, at the at Huck's core, he just wants to be a normal guy and be with his, with his family and his kid, but can he really? I know a lot of women have a, a dream, they stand by their husband all these years and then they think it's going to be my turn eventually and it never comes to pass and it may not for Melly because Nothing goes easily in Shondaland, but I just love that she, uh, Melly's in herself enough to say it, to like say, I want this, to sort of claim it for herself, and it may not come to pass, but once Melly puts a dream out there, she will, she will cut down everybody in her path to get to it. So it's going to be a wild ride.